everyone, and thanks for watching the video on how to send an email. Um, so on this email, we're going to send the PDF that we just saved. Uh, we, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put a button um, probably somewhere around here, and, and when you click the button, it'll ask you to open the PDF file that you want to send. You open it, and it will send from there. So let's get started. Alt F11 brings your Visual Basic Editor up. You can see I've already typed this out. Um, I added a new module. It's actually called Mods in Mail. Let's double click that. Uh, you do have to, to do so, you have to go into Tools at the top here, References, and you have to scroll down to find Microsoft Outlook, um, whichever version you're using, um, 13, 14, 15, um, something like that. So then we're going to, here's the code, if you need to copy it, I'm sorry, if you need to um, pause the video and type it out, um, you're more than welcome to. So we're going to pass through a send item as string. Um, that's really important. Um, so let's go ahead and say, we're going to dim o look as outlook application. And we're going to dim o mail as outlook.mail item. And then we're going to dim invoice as worksheet. And we're going to dim wb as workbook. And we're going to set it to this workbook right here. Okay, then we're going to say on error, go to error handler. And when we go to error handler, we say a message box. Please make sure you've chosen a PDF um, that you want to send. Um, and then we close Outlook and we quit it and we discard the mail. Um, so if not, then we want to say we set Outlook to new application, set O mail to create item right here. Then we're going to set invoice to sheet invoice and we say with O mail dot to application dot lookup. And we say, um, you see we have a range named um, email lookup. That is actually on our customer data table. You will see right here. It is, um, if you do it over a table, it will automatically be dynamic and it will expand as the table expands, which is beautiful. Um, you know, so it just goes over to email address. You can go over as far as you want. I only chose to go to that because that's all we're looking up right now. Um, so as you can see, we uh, do a VLOOKUP and that works exactly the same as uh, VLOOKUP in Excel. And then we say uh, CC, we want to be blank. If you do want it to be um, copied into somebody, you can put an input box here or have it automatically copied to whoever you want. Um, then we say dot subject and we're going to say your company name receipt here and then we're going to say body attachment is a PDF receipt and then you're going to say attachment add and then we're using our send item that we passed through and then we send, say send and then we send a message box that says your receipt has been sent. Okay, so let's uh, go to the invoice. And let's go ahead and add a new button. Um, you certainly could use a shape if you wanted. Um, again, I personally like the looks of the button. It gives it a little more of a form look. So developer, insert, active X button and you can size it, do whatever you want. I'll hit pause and size it, then we'll uh, go. Okay, as you can see, um, I went ahead and resized it and um, realigned the buttons a little bit. Um, right click, choose properties, and change the name to CB Send Mail, or Send Invoice. And then we want to change our picture, or I'm sorry, not picture, print object to false. 
and we want to go ahead and change our caption to email invoice. Double click brings up the Visual Basic Editor, automatically puts this in. You want to type call send mail and then this is the key right here, application.get open file name. That will automatically, let's go ahead and hit save, close, make sure our non developer tab we have a design mode unchecked and we want to go ahead and try it out. Let's hit send, brings it open. We choose the invoice that I've already saved. Okay, message has been sent. Let's go ahead and check our email now. All right, looks like it came through. And here's our invoice that it sent. Also says uh, your company name receipt. Attached is your PDF receipt. And I spelled receipt here wrong, so we'll want to go back in and change that. I'll do that when um, when we're not recording. Um, so on the next video, it'll be fixed. My apologies. Bye.